temperatures in the low 80s Tuesday and Wednesday with sunshine. Morning lows for your Wednesday morning. Going to dip into the upper 50s, low 60s. Here's Sheila O'Connor with a final check of these roadways. Good morning. Hey, Brittany, good morning. Yeah, one final check of this accident here along the interstate. This is 240 in Mill Branch Road. You have slowdowns in both directions, so both eastbound and westbound. This is going westbound along 240. You have TDOT and Memphis Police blocking that left lane, and then going eastbound, Memphis Police also blocking that left lane in that direction as well. For that crash, you see the car there in that grassy median. Here's where it is on my map, and again, both directions, you're seeing how far those slowdowns expand. Uh, if you're going westbound, it's all the way over by the exit for Airways Boulevard. Eastbound is already spilling over towards that 240-55 junction. So continue to avoid the stretch of the interstate. Brooks Road or even Winchester Road is your alternate route for that. Hacks Cross Road and Shelby Drive, I'm still tracking this accident. Good news is I'm only seeing that delay southbound there on Hacks Cross. So to save you a few minutes here, you can take Riverdale Road as your alternate route. Other than that, everywhere else in the city of Memphis, not looking too terrible for this Thursday morning. Live with the real-time traffic and weather, I'm Sheila O'Connor. Oscar Meyer. Yeah, the Oscar Meyer Wiener, Wiener Mobile's changing its name. And it's all because of a new recipe for the beef franks. You call them hot dogs, wieners, or frank burgers, Ernie? Hot dogs. Sponsored by Landers Auto Group. Well, the University of Memphis ranks in the top 5% of all colleges around the world, ranking from the Center for World University Rankings. U of M comes in at number 1,088 out of 20,000. So this adds to the honors that the U of M is earning. Recently, it was named a Carnegie Tier R1 school, highest tier for research university. Man, a big win for Rivercrest Elementary in Bartlett. It's, it's been named one of the first STEM or STEAM designated schools. We're seeing it both ways by the Tennessee Department of Education. Which is it? Okay, for this one, it's STEAM, and it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Well, there you go. There we go. The program the will arts. provide some real-world career connections for its students. Rivercrest also receives $35,000 towards training projects and uh, things to make those career connections through community partnerships. And tomorrow, they're having a celebration with Bartlett Superintendent and Mayor. Congratulations. So STEAM and STEM. And I'm seeing that Collierville got from the Tennessee Department of Education a STEM award for one of its middle schools, too. STEM so or STEM? STEM. Okay. There, there's both. But, hey, we're sure about this. After nearly 100 years, Oscar Myers Wienermobile is getting a new name. Say what? They've had some clever jingles over the years. The company says yeah. the Wienermobile is now going to be known as the Frankmobile. The change is in honor That's of the brand's 100% <laughs> beef frank new re recipe. Yeah, and, and, and they're not going to call them hot doggers anymore. Shambering they're calling them the Frankfurters. We don't call the hot dogs that Franks is down here. Truly like this is the first eat. time the changed name since 1936. <laughs> 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 Here's your Wiener Mobile forecast. Wiener We're at 84 degrees for this afternoon under a partly cloudy sky. And then for your Friday, 85. We do have afternoon pop ups. Just a little bit lower today, mainly along the south by 40. Higher tomorrow, especially Friday night into Saturday when some stronger storms can roll on through. Now, go check out that forecast at midday. And of course, my baloney has the first name. That's OS. Yeah. Yeah, we love that. Hey, thanks for joining us on Good Morning Memphis. I hope you're. Uh, singing that song all day. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, you're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Sherry Shepard shows next, followed by Fox 13 News, midday at 11. He has a second name.